What's up guys, Skittle Rampage here. So we just had so many One Piece drops for Funko Fair Day 2. So we're gonna be talking about all of those as well as the release dates. So let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is officially Funko Fair Day 2. And One Piece obviously stole the show today. Now before we jump into all the reveals and how crazy this day was, we have the question of the day and that is, what was your favorite One Piece drop today? Leave a comment down below. <sighs> All right, guys, we had a lot of drops today. It was extremely overwhelming posting all day, also trying to work to get this video ready for you guys in a reasonable time today. It's been a crazy day, absolutely crazy day. If you don't know, for big drops like this, usually I'm over on Instagram posting links all day to everything that is dropping. So if I was able to help you today at all, leave a like on the video, I'd really appreciate it. So we roughly had about 30 reveals today with a small amount of that being comments. It was kind of ridiculous, tons of exclusives, tons of chases. They really went crazy with this One Piece wave. They said, oh, you said you haven't gotten One Piece in a while. Well, here's the One Piece. Honestly, I don't even know where to begin because there was so much heat that dropped today. I, I guess I'll start with Snake Man Luffy. So, we do have a Snake Man Luffy common and a metallic exclusive, exclusive to the Funko Shop. Now, with this one, it's a little bit of an interesting situation. The common is showing a March ETA. However, the Funko Shop exclusive may experience a slight delay, but could drop between March and June. So the reason I say it could drop between March and June is usually when a Funko Shop exclusive is announced in a new set. Usually it drops right around when the commons start arriving and other exclusives start arriving. So I put a pretty wide time frame there. Now let's take a closer look at the pop. The common is basically the same as the exclusive, but the exclusive is metallic. You have the silver metallic eyes, the silver metallic hair. Oh, that looks so good. Then you have the smoke all around him and his arms stretching all around him. This looks amazing. Though honestly, I dare to say that I still like Chalice's Gear 4 Luffy better than this one, but this one's amazing. Now, another common we did get was Jinbei here and he does have a chase. So as you can see, he is in a karate stance, which is pretty nice. And the chase variant on him is a different colored kimono. I honestly, a lot of people have their issues with the chase, but usually a chase is just kind of like a color swap. Like I understand it is kind of lazy to be honest, just to color swap that. Maybe they could have put the chase in a different mold. Overall though, I'm kind of happy with it, but I personally do like the common better. And just so you guys know, this one has a March ETA. Also, I know a lot of people are really upset with this mold because it looks very disproportionate. However, I'm just happy we got the character. Now, another new character and common we got was Kaido, the pop six inch. Check this out guys. Definitely one of the better detailed molds in this set. He looks beautiful, good lord. Look at that giant club in his hand. Now, just like the other commons, he does also have a March ETA. And I will say this one has probably been selling the best out of all the commons, just because a lot of people have been waiting for Kaido for a very long time. Now, unfortunately, the 10 inch Dragon Kaido was not announced today, and that's just a rumor at the moment. But if I hear anything else on that, I'll let you guys know in the future. Good news, Zoro Joro is finally here. He is no longer lost. After a two year pre-order, we can finally pre-order him again. <laughs> You know what's funny? I actually haven't checked my GameStop order to see if I still have it and if it will like still ship that one out. I'm kind of curious about that. Everyone check your orders if you still have one from GameStop or wherever and see if it actually is still active and if they'll ship it and if it updated the ETA. That's very interesting. I didn't think about that. That's that's hilarious though. Two years of a pre-order just to pre-order it again. <laughs> Anyways, Zero Zero here, nothing really changed with the pop. It does look to be pretty much the same. Now our last common is Hungry Big Mom here with a March ETA and this mold is crazy. She's very ugly, but the mold is crazy. This would have been a perfect glow in the dark exclusive, but also kind of glad it's not an exclusive because we got enough of those today, but it would have been amazing as glow in the dark with red glowing eyes and the orange glowing hair. This would have been awesome. Now, to be honest, I wasn't expecting to get three different Big Mom pops. I knew we had at least two coming, but then we had a third one as a surprise. And I felt like not a lot of people like her character that much to get three pops, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about these. Anyways, though, we do have child Big Mom here with a chase variant with the red eyes and an angry mouth there. So that's pretty much everything that is different. And just so you guys know, this one is a Funko Specialty Series exclusive. I know the sticker is kind of confusing, but this is exclusive to smaller shops like Child's Collectibles, for example, and most of your mom and pop shops that will be selling this one. And this one does have an April slash May ETA. Now, our last Big Mom pop is the Galactic Toys exclusives expected in April through June of this year, quarter two of the year and this is big mom with homies now this one felt a little unnecessary i won't lie but the mold does look really nice because we already got the homies technically um, in the regular common just kind of infused with her so 
I don't know if this one was entirely necessary, but it still does look really nice. Next up, one of the most popular ones to be announced is the Ace cover here. Seemingly kind of like a manga cover, but they use the bounty poster instead, but this one's really awesome. So check this out, guys. So it does say Ace, and in fact, he is in a new mold as well, which I really love. I kind of wish we got it into a regular Funko Pop, though. Now, according to Hot Topics website, this is expected between February 20th and March 3rd. I don't know if it's sold out just yet, but it did go live today, and this one looks awesome. Definitely had to pre-order this one. Now, the big question with this one is, will this open us up to more manga covers or more wanted posters of different characters in One Piece? Because this could be a really cool line. Next up, another really huge character that was awesome is Buggy the Clown here, the Hot Topic exclusive. Now, the ETA on this one is February 21st through March 4th, and he looks really awesome. So, if you'll notice in the pop, he does actually have parts of him chopped up. This one was rumored to have a chase, but it looks like it does not, but he still looks good. I'm glad it's a regular pop, and we don't have to go after another chase. Love how this mold turns out. I think this is definitely one of the best ones out of the set. Next up, we did get the King of the Pirates himself, Goldie Roger. This is so freaking awesome. I just hate that it has a chase. So as you can see, we do a first looks at Goldie Roger here. He does have that Funko Shop exclusive chase. Why did it have to be Funko Shop? This one is going to sell out immediately. And the chase version is just him with the hat on for those wondering. And it does have a March through June drop time again around that time when those commons and exclusives start arriving. I do have a feeling this is going to be one of the hardest One Piece pops to get, period. Oh, did somebody say Funko Shop exclusive chases? Well, guess what? We got another one, Armored Luffy. So, we technically already had first looks at this pop, but I wanted to show you both of the, uh, the images anyways. Now, we could possibly see this one drop on the Funko Shop soon, given someone already has the chase in hand somehow. They said they were sent it mistakenly when they ordered a chopper, so... If that's true, that means Funko either has samples in and they're expecting the stock really soon, or they have the stock and they could drop it within the next month or so. Now I just hope I don't miss out on this one like I did Chopper. Another new Luffy with a glow chase we do have is Red Hawk Luffy here. So check that out. The glow on it's actually really cool to be honest, and I'll probably be showing you guys first looks very soon here. Stay tuned for that. But he has the swirling fire behind him, which is really freaking awesome on this one, and the scar on the chest, which is great. And this one is expected in April of this year. So for some reason they decided that we needed three Luffy chases and this is easily the laziest one of them all. So check it out. We do have a gear two Luffy here in his little kind of like charging stance. So I kind of thought when we were getting this pop that we would actually get it from his first time using it, but they decided to go with this instead. Uh, so this is actually a Fundum exclusive, a new company. Looks like they sold enough to get their own exclusive, a pretty big one at that. And in the chase he does have hockey on the fist. And that's it. That, that's pretty much it. They just put the hockey on his fist. So it's like, it's a very lazy chase. To be honest, like, I would have preferred maybe like steam rising off of him a little bit more versus what they did here. Because like we have like the smoke and steam in the back, but maybe the chase could have been like glow in the dark. I just expected more from this pop, I suppose. Now, unfortunately on their website, they just have it listed as when the pop arrives, that's when they'll ship it. There is no ETA, but let me know what you think about this one. Now, one I didn't expect to be an exclusive is Odin here. So as you can see, it's a Toy Stop Collectibles exclusive and it's expected at the end of March. Overall, he does look pretty cool. It's pretty much a pretty simplistic mold. He's just holding swords in an action pose. Now, another new character with easily the best chase out of all of them is Whitebeard here. And I feel like this one broke this set. A lot of people love this pop. So this one's actually shared with Crunchyroll and GameStop and they have different ETAs. Crunchyroll is May and GameStop is March 15th according to their website. So as you can see in the Chase variant he does have a different shirt, he has a different um, sash I think it is, as well as he has the hat on and hair in the Chase. So it's a pretty different Chase which I really do love on that. For the first Whitebeard pop I really feel like they went all out here. Oh and since I've gotten this question multiple times whether you order from GameStop or Crunchyroll it doesn't matter you can get a Chase from both. Over at Chow's Collectibles they did get two brand new exclusives, one with a Chase. But firstly we do have Zoro here. Now Zoro does have an ETA of April slash May of this year and check him out he is a glow in the dark exclusive there. This is crazy. Check that out. I'm really worried about the purple slash blue glows though because like with the Kudagiri pop over at Target that one kind of sucked. So I'm really hoping that this glow does not suck in person because there is a strong chance of that. Usually with the purple and red glows sometimes they're not great. And the other Chalice exclusive was Soba Mask Sanji here. This one's really awesome to be honest. So he's in a kicking action pose and then he does have the chase variant that's the same thing but translucent and invisible. Definitely a unique chase there. Now the same as Zoro, this one's expected in April and May of this year. As usual, Child's Collectibles does get some of the best exclusives. Now over at GameStop, we did get a brand new One Piece 4 pack here. 
but it's a very random assortment of characters, and I'll tell you why they did this most likely. So, as you can see, it does include Luffy Taro, Sabo, Zoro, and Jinbei there. And they did make Sabo the glow in the dark pop with the flames on the end of his staff there glowing. Now, this one hasn't gone live yet on GameStop, so we don't have an ETA just yet. However, the reason they did this is to sell the remaining Sabo and Luffy Taro commons that they had left over. They threw two new characters in there to sell the old characters. That's essentially all they did. It's just kind of like a cash grab bundle. But for those interested, you can pick it up. If you're not interested, I guess just pass on it. But it's, it's definitely very interesting because like I knew a four pack was coming, but I thought it was gonna be the original Straw Hats and not this. I don't know, do you guys feel like it's weird and random? I saw a lot of people saying like, what the heck is this? The last thing we did have was Funko Minis as well as Keychains. The Minis do not have a current ETA and the Keychains are expected in March of Luffy Taro and Zoro Jiro there. So seemingly, I feel like the Minis are a lot of the same ones we already have because like I, I have some of them back here and that's, that's Chopper. Do you guys see that? Um, same Usopp and Zoro. <laughs> <laughs> Seemingly, this is a lot of the old minis that have already released and now they're five below exclusives in different packaging. I don't know exactly what's going on here or if it's gonna have anything new, but yeah, it's kind of weird. One thing to quickly notate, guys, a lot of people are really worried about this, like Buggy the Clown sold out earlier pretty quickly. Usually that happens with Hot Topic drops. It was expected. Don't worry, it will be back. Remember what happened with Rengoku at Walmart? He's still currently in stock now. Eventually, it's going to restock and they're gonna restock a bunch at a time. So. Just be patient, stay calm, they will be back. Whatever sold out will be back. Well, unless it's like a Funko Shop exclusive, usually those don't come back, but you get what I mean. Well guys, those are all the announcements for today for One Piece. For those wondering, I'm going to talk about the rest of Funko Fair Day 2 tomorrow. I just don't have the time to put out the video and be able to create everything for the video. So I decided to just solely do One Piece today and I'll talk about the rest of the stuff and my opinions tomorrow and release dates and everything like that. But. Wow, was this a day for One Piece. I will say One Piece stole the fair. It was way better than Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer was just so lackluster compared to this wave and all the molds and all the craziness and chases. Golly, they just like did Demon Slayer fans dirty. <laughs> But overall, it does seem like Funko is playing catch up here because a lot of these were actually delayed and supposed to come out like two years ago or one year ago by now. So it looks like they might've released two to three waves all in one today. It was insane. Let me know what did you pick up from this new drop? If anything, did you guys get everything you needed? Were you able to get all the drops? It's kind of crazy. Some things sold out, some things didn't sell out, but it was a very expensive day. I think, I think it was estimated around like, with the chase bundles, and depending on how many you know pops you're buying to try to get a certain chase if they don't have bundles and if you're not buying like all-inclusive common bundles you buy everything individually this could be well near a thousand dollars for every single pop so i guess that's something fun to comment down below if you're comfortable saying it how much did you spend today on one piece all right i want to thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy smash that like button down below if you guys need to pre-order anything make sure to check out my instagram that's where i post all the links and i do have all the links still live and active in my story so check that over there if you guys are looking for anything and yeah, that's pretty much it. This has been a crazy day and I'm really tired. To end off the video, I do wanna say a big shout out to all the wonderful Patreon supporters of the channel. If you guys are not in the Patreon, I highly recommend it. We drop all the links in there. It's an easy place to access everything and it's a great community where we put restock updates, news updates, and more. So check out that link down below. I highly encourage you to join it. And it's only two bucks to join with a lot of perks. We also have a Facebook group with over 16,000 members that's buy, sell, and trade. And make sure to be following me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page to stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.